Let me tell you a quick story. In my first ever real guitar lesson, the one that totally transformed my guitar playing in just a couple of hours, a very interesting thing happened. I told my guitar teacher that I wanted to improve my guitar technique, and I'll never forget what happened next. The teacher looked up at me and said, okay, let me ask you a question. What is guitar technique? Do you know? I opened my mouth to answer, and then I realized I have no idea. The teacher then smiled and said, if you're confused, I don't blame you, because almost everybody feels stumped by this question. It seems like the answer should be obvious, but it's kind of hard to put it into words, right? And the fact that you don't know the answer is the very reason you're unhappy with your technique right now. After all, how can you get better at something when you don't even know what that thing is? So let me give you a hint. I'm going to ask the question a little bit differently. What is guitar technique made up of? Now, I was still totally confused, but I was also hooked. And I really wanted to know the answer now. And when I finally got the answer, it made all the difference in my ability to play guitar the way I can now. So let me help you out. Technique is simply motions or movements. Master the motions, master your guitar technique or don't master the motions and stay frustrated with your technique forever. It's that simple. Now let me ask you, why does this definition of technique matter? Well, think of all the possible combinations of notes you can play on your guitar. There are lots of them, millions for sure. But how do you play these notes? You move your hands to play them, don't you? The different techniques you do on guitar, sweet picking, finger rolling, alternate picking across strings, alternate picking on a single string, legato, two hand tapping, pinch harmonics, and so on, are simply different types of motions. And this also means that if you can't play something as cleanly or as fast as you want, your hands simply haven't learned the motions needed to play the notes. The notes are just a byproduct of movements, and the motions make the notes possible. And here's the thing, you often use one type of motion to play lots and lots of different notes. Think of sweep picking, for example. Can you use sweep picking to play more than one arpeggio? Yes, of course. And can you use the same picking motions to play multiple scales or scale sequences on guitar? Yes, of course. And can you play different legato licks using the same basic motions of hammer-ons, pull-ups, and slides? Of course, the answer is yes. So when you can't play something on guitar, it simply means there are motions you haven't yet mastered. Now stop. Let all of that sink in for a second. I'm going to repeat that because it's so important. When you can't play something on guitar, the notes you struggle with are a symptom of the motions you haven't yet mastered. Think of an iceberg. The tip of the iceberg are the notes you're trying to play right now. It's the most obvious part of the iceberg that everybody focuses on. But the key to everything are the motions that make the notes possible. It's the mass of the iceberg that's hidden below the waterline. The notes you play are just one example of how one technical motion can be used to play hundreds or thousands of notes on guitar. So when you can't play something, what should you do? How do you master the motions and improve your guitar technique? There are four steps to the process and most guitar players only do one, which is why they get stuck, but I'm going to show you all four right now. The first step, which almost everybody knows and what almost everybody stops on, is to isolate the problematic notes. Let's say you are playing this arpeggio and you have a hard time playing these three notes in that arpeggio. What would most guitar players do? They would isolate the three notes they struggle with and repeat them over and over. Now, does this work? Yes, it does work sometimes, and you may get lucky and this simple solution will work for you too. But what if it doesn't? Then you need to go to step two, go one level deeper and identify the motion that is being used to play these notes. In this arpeggio example, you're playing three notes on the same fret with the same finger on different frets. What is this called? If you don't know, I'll tell you. The motion is called finger rolling. So now, let's move on to step three. Now that you know the motion to master, learn how to do the motion. And this is where the role of a good teacher comes in. A good teacher should be able to tell you exactly how to do the motion the right way, with the right technique, with the right efficiency, so that you can do it cleanly and fast and accurately and make it feel effortless. And now, step four. Once you know how to do the motion, practice it in as many different contexts as possible. That means practice the finger rolling motion on two strings, on three strings, on different frets, on different string sets, even with different fingers, Practice it slowly, practice it fast, practice it at medium tempos, and rotate through the different contexts many times in the same practice session. Switch up the context literally every few seconds, and do that even if the previous contexts are not yet mastered. 
but if we only need to play these three notes cleaner, why practice the rolling motion all over the guitar? And with different fingers no less. What's the point? Why not just repeat the three notes in the arpeggio so I can learn this arpeggio, play it the way I want, and be done with it? Remember our definition of guitar technique? It's about mastery of motions, not about playing notes. So you're now focusing on the motion of rolling your finger on the guitar, and that motion can happen in dozens and dozens of contexts. So as you get better at the motion, you don't just get better at that particular arpeggio, of course that gets better as well, but you get better in every context where finger rolling motion is used, and that is how your technique really improves. This is the mindset. The mindset of focusing on the movements versus notes that helps you make more progress with less practice. Hey, did you like the video? If you did, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload new videos just like this for you. And one more thing, if you're not interested in playing guitar fast, then ignore everything I'm going to say next. But if you've already tried the old starting slow and gradually building up speed method and you've hit a plateau and you already know that the traditional methods for building speed don't really work all that well, hit the link below and I'm going to show you a new and different way to build speed that most guitars don't know about that helps you get faster without doing any slow practice. It's pretty cool. I taught it to hundreds of guitar players who paid thousands of dollars to watch me teach it live to them. You get to watch a recording of the masterclass. Just enter your email address and I'll send it right over to you. Hit the link below and I will see you soon.